Hey there, my wrist-free warriors. I'm James, and this is a shorter wrist and hand-free sequence just to get you a little bit warmer in the morning. We don't always have loads of time to practice a long sequence, and also some days we don't have the energy for a really tough, powerful sequence. If that's what you want, check out some of my other videos. Otherwise, this is a more moderate, gentle sequence just to warm you up in the morning, get you moving and feeling good. Let's get going. So we're going to start at the front of the mat. If you come to stand with the feet about hip distance apart, just let the hands hang down for a moment. You might close the eyes if that feels good to you. And just taking a deep inhale through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. And again, breathing in, breathing into a new day. And breathing out any sleepiness, any tension. One more. Let's start to move slowly. As you breathe in, just reach the arms up overhead and then float them back down either side of your body. Breathe in, arms lift and float the hands down. And just one more. This time as the hands come down, bend the knees a little bit, rest your elbows onto your knees, your hands are free. Just take a breath here, fill the back of your body with breath. And as you breathe out, gently step the left foot back, lower the left knee down. As you inhale, lift the arms, let's circle them back and keep the elbows bent if it feels good. And take deep breaths into the chest, fill the lungs. Breathing in, breathing out. From here, lift the arms up around the ears. If it feels good, lift the chest. And get a feeling like you're lifting the front of your pelvis up a little bit, leaning back. And then tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off the floor. A bit of strength coming to stand in a high lunge. Turn your back toes in, warrior two. I'm in a slightly shorter warrior two. You could take it longer if that feels good. The arms float like they're on water. But could you press into the feet gently? Front palm turns up, reversing as you breathe in. And then rest the elbow just above the knee, if that feels okay, arm by the ear. Resting really lightly and then switching again. Leaning back, very delicately rest the elbow on the knee. Let's take one more. Elbow on the knee, arm overhead. Now come back to your warrior two. Find a high lunge. Step forwards, gently draw your left knee into your chest. Let the arms come out to the sides like wings. Crane position, like the great bird. Foot comes down. Let's do that to the other side. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bend the knees, rest the elbows on the thighs. Lifting up a little bit halfway, right foot steps back this time, back knee down, and arm circles. I quite like to untuck my back toes. You could keep them tucked, see what feels good. I'm just waking the body up, yeah. Big lungfuls of air, inhaling. And sighing out. <sighs> From here, take the arms up by the ears, lift the front of the hips, and maybe lift the chest. And then back toes definitely tuck now and lifting into that high lunge position. Turn your back heel in and down, warrior two. Let's take a moment, really press into the outside edge of the back foot. Reverse or exalted warrior, elbow to knee, gently. One more time, and then another one after that, actually. Gently flowing. And then coming back into that high lunge, step forwards, knee comes in, crane position, and the foot comes down. Just take a moment here and just cross the wrist, circle the arms, breathe in, breathe out, hands down. 
two more. Breathing in, breathing out. This time as you breathe in, fold as you breathe out, all the way down. Fingertips touch the ground. Lift up halfway, step the left foot back again, back knee down. Arms lifting and rising. This time reach the arms forwards, lean onto your front thigh. And then twice more, maybe arching back if it feels good now. One more. Now this time as you lift up, bring the hands into this kind of cactus shape, kind of cactus arms. Draw the elbows back slightly and turn towards your right. So let's get the abdominals working, core working a little bit. Come back to center two more times. Exhale. Firing up the belly. And then again. And now once more, tuck your toes, high lunge, lifting up. Warrior two. Reversing. Now this time, reach both arms forwards like you're reaching for the sun. And again, reverse. Once more, reach for the sun and reverse. Now listen closely, reach for the sun, bend the back knee a little bit and imagine you could carry the sun low and slow across your mat and find warrior two with the left foot forwards at the back of your mat. From here, reversing. Let's repeat that on this side. Reach for the sun, reverse. Remember that back foot, press into it. Reach for the sun. One more. And at this time, carry the sun, bend the knees, pivot on the feet across your mat, warrior two. Knee into chest, crane position. And at this time in your crane, cross the ankle over the knee, figure four. Just let the fingertips relax, let the wrists kind of dangle, strong arms. Two more breaths. Getting into the hip here. Yeah. And then coming to stand, mountain pose. Take a moment here, big breath in, sighing out. <sighs> when you're ready, cross the wrists. Three circles again, second side. This movement actually comes from Qigong and Tai Chi, sometimes called separating clouds. Folding forwards now, fingertips gently down, lift up halfway, right foot steps back gently, challenging your balance arms lift and then reach forwards engage your tummy muscles a little bit for support and then come back twice more it's getting everything flowing gently firing up for the day ahead and then hands forwards tuck your back toes cactus shape in the arms turn to the left it's helpful to breathe out as you turn because then your abs will switch on Come back to center. Again, breathe out. One more. Ooh. Find your center. High lunge to warrior two. And now once again, reversing. Reach the arms forwards, reach for the sun. And a second time. And now this time, third time, we're going to hold, so a little bit stronger. Now, you might hold here, option one, if you're feeling a little bit more jazzy, more dynamic, you could shift forwards and lift the back leg into a floating half moon. It's really tricky if you're new to it, but you'll get better, I promise. <laughs> and then wherever you are, back foot comes back down, carry the sun across your mat, warrior two at the back of your mat. Reversing exalted warrior, reach for the sun. And again. And this time, get ready to hold. Find a little bit of strength. Maybe you hold here. Maybe you lift the back leg, float, hands free. If you're up, press through that top heel, straighten the leg, and then return, carry the sun across your mat to the front. Warrior two. From here, high lunge and crane. Graceful but powerful bird. And you can cross the ankle over the knee, figure four, and sit the hips back. It's really helpful to get the posterior chain, the glutes, the hamstrings, your back firing at the start of the day, especially if you, you know, are gonna be at the desk or sat around quite a bit. 
slowly release, come to stand. Just for a moment, soften the knees a little bit, bend them. Take your hands either side of the body and reach the arms out. Really slow clearing practice, which is also from Qigong and Tai Chi. Middle fingers face each other overhead and then press the hands down in front of you. We'll repeat. Gather anything that's weighing on your mind, any anxieties you might have about the day, gather it up and give yourself permission just to let that settle, to clear, clear it out. And one more just for luck. <sighs> From here at the front of your mat, lift the arms gently. And we're going to fold forwards. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Just let your arms dangle or you could just rest the fingertips on the ground. No weight in the hands. And then maybe if it feels okay, you could catch hold of the forearms of the elbows, knees bent and take a little rock side to side. Let your head hang, let it be heavy. And then from here, release. Bring your elbows to rest gently on your knees. Turn your toes out a little bit. And you might sit down into a squat, maybe here. Or if you've got a bit more space, you could come lower. Let's take a couple breaths in your squat. And then we're going to sit down. <laughs> okay, and then finding a way gently to come to sit without kind of straining the wrist at all. Just for a moment, as you sit, could you bring the soles of your feet together in this diamond shape? Then I'm going to invite you to either keep the feet further away if it's hard to sit tall, or if it's easy to sit tall, you could have the feet closer. Take your hands to rest on the legs somewhere or the feet. And just let your body round, let your head drop, let the spine curl. And you might gently soften forwards, resting on the elbows, forearms. And could you take deep breaths into your back? Imagine breathing into your back. From here, start to release. And this time we're gonna straighten the legs out in front of us. And keep them about hip distance apart, the feet. And again, your knees could be a little bit bent if that helps you sit tall and fold forwards. Or if it's easy to have the legs straight, think about lifting your chest up and taking your heart towards your big toes. So don't worry about getting your head down towards your knees. It's more the heart reaching forwards so you get really long Rest the hands on the legs, hold the ankles, maybe even the feet if you've got the space. But keep sending the heart area forwards, nice and long. And imagining you could breathe into the tight bits, wherever you feel the stretch. Imagine you could breathe there, breathing into the back of the leg. There's an idea, right? But it helps, right? It helps. From here, we're going to lie down. As you come to lie down, you might bend the knees. In fact, definitely bend the knees. And walk your feet in a little bit closer to your hips. Feet could be about hip distance apart or so. And now just let your arms rest next to you and have your palms up facing the sky. Start to press through your heels. And could you tuck your tailbone under? So kind of tuck under, lift your hips, just into a low bridge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke my bum, I'm gonna poke my butt to make sure that my glutes are on. Hopefully you can feel it feels like something's working there. And keep tucking under. Let's slowly lower down. See if you can put your upper back down first. 
then your middle back, and then your lower back last. Bring the feet a tiny bit closer together this time. And again, lift your tailbone, lower back, middle back, upper back up. And now as an option, if you want to make it a little bit more energizing, you could shift the weight into the right foot and then lift the left knee up. I'm just gonna keep my leg bent, knee above the hip and push down through the right heel. To keep your lower back feeling nice and spacious, tuck the hips under, tuck under. And then release and let's switch. And I love to hate glute bridges in the morning. They get all the right bits fired up. They stretch out the front of the hips. So they're a great preparation for a day of uh, sitting around, <laughs> if that's what you've got planned, if that's what you have to do. And then release and then lowering down upper, middle, lower back. Ah. For a moment, stretch your legs long, give them a little bit of a wiggle. And now bring your knees in towards your armpits. If it feels okay to hold them gently, hold them. And if you'd like to take happy baby, you could lift the feet and catch the ankles, or maybe even catch the feet. And take a rock, Ananda Balasana. Happy baby pose. I quite like in this pose to straighten one leg for a moment. Ah, it feels nice, yeah, to me. And then the other one. But if it doesn't feel nice, you don't have to do it, right? <laughs> There's no yoga police. Although sometimes it feels like it, right? <laughs> There's no yoga police. <laughs> do what feels good. And we're going to finish with a twist. So two options here. Option one, left leg is straight, right knee comes in, and you bring the knee across the body into a twist. Option two, if you've got a little bit more space to twist in your spine, you could cross the right thigh on top of the left, then bring the knees in, and then take the knees to the left. It's a little bit stronger, this version, if that's what you want. But the other one with the bottom leg straight is really nice too. Let's take a deep breath in, out through your mouth, and then let's change sides. So left knee comes in, maybe crosses over, maybe not. Just taking a couple deep breaths here. Ah. And then as you come back to center, I'm just laying down just for a few moments, a little mini, mini Shavasana. You could rest the hands on the body if that feels good, on the ground. And let's take one super slow, long breath in through the nose. Hold the breath for a moment and then let it all go. Ah. Just as your body settles, you might kind of remind yourself or just be kind to yourself that, oh, I managed to practice today. I did something which was good for myself, my body, my mind. If it's the start of your day, starting the day with the best of intentions, and I think, although I'm biased, the best way to start the day is always yoga. Yeah. So wiggle your fingers and toes as we start to come out. Stretch your arms overhead. And then walk your feet in. And just find a way to come up that works for you whether it's rocking up or using your forearms to gently come up. 
come to a seated position. <clears throat> if it feels good to you, you can join palms as we close, maybe bowing the head a little bit to the earth, just acknowledging the earth below, which nourishes and sustains us for the life we live and the dance we take on its surface through our lives. We'll close here. Namaste. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thanks so much for joining. I hope this helps you start the day in a good way that sets you up for grounded but clear energy. As always, leave me feedback below. I love hearing from you all, my risk-free warriors, and more of these videos coming soon. Have a great week.